Hey, how's it going, guys? I hope you're having a good day. In this video, I'll show you how to sync your music from your iTunes from your Windows computer to your Android phone. So, in this video, we're gonna be uh, using all three major OS platforms. Our iTunes is in a platform, but you get the idea. It's from Apple using on Windows computer, and we're gonna sync the music to Android. Now, it's quite a, a complicated process. Like, if you want to get your music from your iTunes to your Android, and uh, I have been using this app. It's called iSyncer for a while, and it has been working absolutely wonderfully for me. Um, so I'll sh uh, I'll share with you how to do it, and it will make your life so much easier. So what you need to do is you need to go on Chrome and download this um, desktop um, uh, iSyncer. It's uh, called John. Where you go? It's called iSyncer for PC, and that's what you want to download. I have already installed it, so I'm not going to do it. And here it is. So what you want to do is you want to double click on that, and it'll open up here. And once you open it up, it'll give you all these settings here. You know, and you want to use your Wi-Fi, and uh, and here's your address that you're going to be using in the app right? and you just want to click save now every now and then for some reason I think mostly after the update this gets changed or sometimes it gets selected to Ethernet so you just want if it doesn't connect to your phone you just want to click here and click on Wi-Fi and then click save again right so now I have recently just added this song to my playlist uh, one kiss by Calvin Harris and Dua Lipa and I want to transfer that to my phone the best thing about this app that I'm going to show is it can also sync all of your playlists. So let's go over to my phone and I'll show you what to do there. Okay, so here we are guys. Uh, here's the app on the upper corner called iSyncer. So we're going to open this app. And, uh, and I think you guys get the idea already that you have to be connected to the Wi-Fi. To the same Wi-Fi that your uh, laptop or computer is connected to. So let's click on Wi-Fi and it's going to search for my desktop. Now, just in case it doesn't find your desktop here, it does happen every now and then. You just want to click here, Others menu. And you know how we opened the app earlier on the PC and it had that IP address. You just want to enter that IP address. And if it's, I think it was 10.0.0.0.01, something like that. And you can just add that and you should find it. So anyway, we'll go into my library since it's already detected it. Now if you want to click you know sync your whole library you click on that and it would ask you where you want to send your music whether it's to your sd card or your internal memory now i'm not going to uh, do my library because i've already done it so all i want to do at the moment is do the recently added playlist so it's as simple as clicking sync now so it will go through your playlist and it will check everything what's missing and it'll just sync that and it works so fast um it's pretty incredible so it should do that Come on, for some reason it's uh, taking a bit of time today. Just because I said that it's so fast, so it wants to prove me wrong now. Here we go. One kiss coming through. Bam! There we go. So, as you can see, it's uh, saying already existed. So, that means it's checked uh, the whole playlist uh, out of. Uh, all the playlist 24 songs already existed so you won't add them anymore it would only add the one that was missing from your phone so that's the beauty of it now let's go back to our music player and see if it's done what it's supposed to if we have our song let's go back to playlist and uh, here we are there's one kiss now i'm going to stop the music here of course otherwise i'll get a copyright knock on my head so anyways it's as simple as that um if you guys have any other issues let me know i will leave the link in the description for the app where you can directly download it from i think you do have to pay some money for it but um uh if you want to download it for free you can download it from the link that i will provide you or you can go on play store and you can get the app from there and i'm pretty sure i don't i don't have to tell you how to install the app you guys uh would be pretty familiar with the whole process already anyways guys i'll see you in the next video let me know if you have any questions in the comment section and i will try to answer all of them anyways guys see you later Just black and white.